series of meetings in Potsdam, Germany, the final doom of Japan is settled by the big three and their advisers, delivering an ultimatum of unconditional surrender to the Nipponese warlords. Prime Minister Atlander suffers the consequences. Swarms of B-29s and carrier task forces carry destruction to the Japanese homeland. These and the following scenes of the opening of the final assault on Japan were photographed by newsreel, Navy and Signal Corps cameramen. The natural power of the universe is harnessed in the new atomic bomb. Its tremendous possibilities are explained in this chart. The mightiest, most destructive bombs yet produced, such as England's terrifying Grand Slam, weighing 11 tons, are puny midgets compared with the new atomic wonder. One of the first to smash the atom was Dr. Ernest Lawrence of California, inventor of the cyclotron, the atom-smashing machine. With global war, the government stepped into the picture. General Groves, head of the project, teamed up with Vannevar Bush, government director of science and research, and with Dr. Richard Tolman, technological expert. Seeking for the best base material to carry the explosive atoms, hundreds of prospectors ranged the province of Alberta. Scientists made uncounted tests before deciding on uranium, which contained atoms easiest of all to crack. Two billion dollars went into research and plants, such as this one at Richland, Washington. One of the world's most closely guarded secrets, the atomic bomb process was developed in widely separated areas. Even the thousands of men and women working on the project had no idea of the staggering energy they were to release. Commanding the vast Hanford project at Richland is Colonel F.T. Mathias, left. Located at Oak Ridge, Tennessee, near TVA, one of our biggest sources of water power, is the largest of the three atomic bomb plants. Nearly 100,000 workers swarmed into Oak Ridge, which mushroomed into one of our largest war production communities, creating the fifth largest city in Tennessee. But the results justified the tremendous efforts. The great influx of atomic bomb producers called for thousands of prefabricated homes. Hundreds more families arrived and failing to find other accommodations, set up housekeeping in trailer town. Merchants were quick to supply the demands of the sprawling war center. The city of Hiroshima, the Russians joined the United States and Britain. Square reviews his troops. The Russian decision to join three meetings, the president reports on the startling developments that seal Japan's fate. We are now prepared to destroy more rapidly and completely every productive enterprise the Japanese have in any city. We shall destroy their docks, their factories, and their communications. Let there be no mistake we shall completely destroy Japan's power to make war. It was to spare the Japanese people from utter destruction that the ultimatum of July the 26th was issued at Potsdam. Their leaders promptly rejected that ultimatum. If they do not now accept our terms, they may expect a reign of ruin from the air, the like of which has never been seen on this earth. Behind this air attack, will follow sea and land forces in such numbers and power as they have not yet seen and with the fighting skill of which they are already well aware.